General, is there anything I can help you with? Has our dwarf an ally arrived yet? Not yet, but we have received word that she passed the gates of Kings two days ago. In other words, she will arrive soon. If you'd be willing to wait, I could arrange a conclave right after she arrives. All right, I'll wait. Good. Your Majesty. Rera Hellstone, rise. Your Majesty, it's an honor. I'll keep it brief. High Hierophant Arrakis has enemies in Windhome too. The Blackstone Rebels, which I lead together with my brother Malik. We are planning a coup, and we're hoping for the Crown's support. Hmm. And just how did you and your brother get to lead a rebellion? We both have our reasons. Suffice it to say that Arrakis spits on everything we hold dear. And also, we're not leaders. We're the faces of hundreds who refuse to stand by and watch as this sodding lunatic steers our homeland into chaos. Very noble of you. <sighs> and you are? Wraith Skadar. He is assisting us in another matter. I see. Well, Wraith Skadar, I don't claim to be a saint. If you don't trust me, fine. But I'm all you're getting. If we doubted your intentions, you would not be here. Good to hear. Interesting. So instead of engaging directly, you want to support these rebels. Is that it, Your Majesty? Yes. How do you know if we can trust them? We do not. But once again, it is our best option. We've already pushed our luck by recapturing Draycott and we cannot intervene directly without risking another war. Nobody wants another war. Look, General, I understand your reservations. But trust me, if it were up to me, I'd be on a ship to Zoo by now. I'm doing this because I have to. And I have no intention of staying once this scumbag is back where he belongs. In chains, and in the darkest pit the Windhome dungeons have to offer. All right. What role do you see the Wolfguard playing in this? Well, that's simple. We need an experienced soldier to help us with... an operation. A heist. Right now, we are many, but lack the coin to become a force to be reckoned with. We intend to change that by borrowing some money and high-quality weapons from Windhome's treasuries. If you help us see this through, we will use this money to build up an army strong enough to take care of Arrakis and reinstate the Prince. Also, we will lend the Crown the Blackstone Rebels' forces to help you on that mission of yours. If you want us, that is. You know about our mission? About the God of Light? I was briefed, yes. Why would you risk the lives of you and your men for that? Dust and stones. You're looking for the fault in everything, aren't you? First of all, it's simply our end of the bargain. You help the Rebellion, we help your mission. Secondly, if this God of Light is half as gruesome and dangerous as the rumours about that fight in the Hall of Justice say, only an idiot would sit in our hands while it tries to eat our world. Don't you think? How do you plan on getting us into Windholm, though? Is there a side entrance? Way better. Look. A uh, letter of passage? For Zverak Yor? One of Eo's most renowned architects. Aye, whom we've taken hostage. Arrak has hired him to help with the construction of his statue. What statue? You don't know. Arrakis has ordered the construction of a giant statue of Nihalf made of pure moon silver. A monument to Windhelm's greatness, apparently. Huh. So that's the symbol that dwarf in the Windwall outskirts was talking about. Arrakis wants an Empyrean architect to design the statue. Am I the only one who sees the irony in that? <laughs> No, he sees it too. Which is why the letter also contains strict orders not to question its bearer too much. That's convenient. A statue made of pure moon silver. <laughs> That's madness. <laughs> Arrakis in a nutshell. An unrelated question, but did you notice any cases of people disappearing in Windwall? Or its outskirts? Uh, no. This is about the God of Light, right? Yes. I see. Well, no, nothing yet. 
Though now you mention it, there has been talk of strange, dark elves patrolling the border. That might be anything, though. Frankly, at this point, Windhelm's biggest problem is Arrakis. And I hope it stays that way for now. But I'm not Zverig Yor. How does this letter help us? Says who? You spent years in Imperia, and you even have a slight accent. Windhelm folk aren't particularly cosmopolitan, so they won't know the difference. You take the letter, show it to the gate guards, and they'll let you pass. No questions asked. Then we meet up with my brother, discuss the plan, and see it through together. Excellent. General, make all the necessary preparations. Even if the mission succeeds, it will take the rebels a while to set the coup in motion. In other words, the sooner we get this done with, the better. Understood. Over here. What do we have here? Atop the mammoth stronghold of Greykeep sits King's Vantage, a gathering place of merchants, servants, and nobles alike. From here, the high towers of the keep encircle the terrace. Out of the way. Hmm. Interesting. Same thing about a heist. I can take care of that. Nothing new today. What's this? Armors and shields, everything from copper daggers to moon silver swords. What do we have here? Hmm. Interesting. Armors, shields, everything from copper daggers to moon silver swords. Farewell. Stay close. Hmm. What's this? Looking for potions and scrolls? I'm sure I have just what you need. Pleasure doing business with you. Come again. I'm getting new wares by the next moon's turn. Axes, daggers, swords, everything for the wary traveler. Yes. Keep it up. Hmm. Hmm. Yes? Interesting. How are our provisions? Recovering. It takes time to procure new materials and goods, but we're getting there. Thanks to Corporal Tahar, there's no war to worry about, at least. Farewell. Good day, General. War after war has scarred Fiara, altering the tides of power across much of the continent. In Nortender, a fragile hope for peace drives the efforts to rebuild a ravaged kingdom. A new beginning dawns for the Moorhir, 
as their new settlement finally takes shape. While the orcs realize Let's do this. So it must be. For five days, you ride under an overcast sky. One night, sitting by the campfire, Rera offers you and your companions a sip of brandy. She tells you about her life as a privateer, her return to Windwall, and about Ericus's rise to power. The worst about people like him, she says, her eyes drift off, almost as though she is talking to herself, is that they claim to speak for all of us, but he doesn't. We'll make sure he understands that. So, uh, there's a part I haven't told you. While it's true that nobody will question that letter once we're inside, those bridge guards have been briefed. They know who they're expecting. That's bad. Not necessarily. They don't know what Zverek Yor looks like, but they know his reputation. Which is? that he is the most unlikable, self-entitled person to have ever walked the face of Eo. In other words, you'll have to act the part and they'll let us through. Oh. For five days, you ride under an overcast sky. One night, sitting by the campfire, Rera offers you and your companions a sip of brandy. She tells you about her life. So, uh, there's a part I haven't told you. While it's true that nobody will question that letter once we're inside, those bridge guards have been briefed. They know who they're expecting. That's bad. Not necessarily. They don't know what Zverek Yor looks like, but they know his reputation. Which is? That he is the most unlikable, self-entitled person to have ever walked the face of Eo. In other words, you'll have to act the part and they'll let us through. Oh.
There's a part I haven't told you. While it's true that nobody will question that letter once we're inside, those bridge guards have been briefed. They know who they're expecting. That's bad. Not necessarily. They don't know what Zverek Yor looks like, but they know his reputation. Which is? That he is the most unlikable, self-entitled person to have ever walked the face of Eo. In other words, you'll have to act the part and they'll let us through. Oh. Go ahead. Sure. Hold it right there! No gravel eaters past this point! Servant, there are two gnomes obstructing my path. One short, one fat. Both ugly. Uh... Just two insignificant guards, your most brightly beaming brilliance. What was that? Ugh! The ugly gnome is still talking, servant. His foul breath is numbing my senses. All right, that's it. Go! Wait. Are you from Imperia? I recognize that accent. Hello? Anybody in there? His most delicately dazzling brilliance would like to be properly addressed when spoken to. Me half balls. What? Oh, uh, your um, most luminous brilliance. Hearken to my humble question. Who are you? Look at that. The fat gnome is capable of speech. Servant, tell him who I am. <coughs> You are speaking to Zverak Yor, also known as the creator of marvels, the architect of wonders. We are here at the invitation of your leader, High Hierophant Arrakis. Here's our letter of passage. Uh, I see. Well then, go on through, and forgive the inconvenience. We didn't know who we were talking to. That much was evident. Come now, servant. Let us swiftly get many miles between us and these miscreants. Just give the word. I can't believe that worked. Neither can I. Come. Let's find Malik. He's expecting us. Hold it. That's Arrakis. Seems as if he's given another one of his speeches. Hmm. We might want to give it a listen. The more we learn about this man, the better. Good point. I say, no more! For centuries, those gravel eaters have kept us weak. Treaties, alliances, conclaves. All they did was try to put us in shackles. But no, of course that wasn't enough. They also took it upon themselves to poison our culture. And damn, how they succeeded. Look around, brothers. Look at what our once so proud nation has become. Dwarves mixing with surface folk, breeding offspring whose existence alone is an insult to our ancestors. Women, the goddesses of life, wielding axes, making laws, and they should be ensuring the survival of our people. Dwarves who don't know which end of the axe to hold. We've become a joke, brothers. A disgrace. And do you know what I'm seeing? Five years from now, I see these halls deserted. Nothing left but the wind, the rats, and a handful of fragile creatures whose only purpose is to mine ore for the rich surface men. I see crypts filled with the corpses of dwarves, 
dwarves who did not die in battle, but from the degeneration the Gravel Eaters brought upon us. I see the end of a people whom Nihav once chose to rule all the mountains of Eo. But we won't take it. We won't let them poison our minds, take our pride, force us into servitude. We will show them our true face. And oh, brothers, they won't like it. No more treaties, no more bargains, no more outsiders within these sacred halls. Only the sons of granite, proud and strong, axes home, bearing their teeth to anybody who dares to challenge us. Are you with me? Yeah! What are you, gravel eaters? I want to hear you shout it at the top of your lungs. Fill every corner of these sacred halls with your voices. Shout it like the proud men that I see before me. Gravel no longer. We are of granite. Are you with me? Yeah! Impressive, isn't it? Regardless of how much I hate this guy, I have to hand it to him. He knows how to make a speech. He's lying. Nobody is forcing the dwarves into servitude. Tell that to the mob. Though... Hmm... Yeah. What? Arrakis may present himself as a saint, but I'm sure he has skeletons in his closet. We tried to dig up dirt in him before, but never found anything. If we get the chance to search inside the castle walls, well, that's a different story. In other words, we should keep an eye out for anything interesting once we're inside the fortress. I doubt it'll help convince those oafs that they're following the wrong shepherd, but it's worth a try. <gasps> yes? What do we have here? the person I was looking for. Excuse me? You know how to fight, eh? More importantly, how to survive. Yes. Just what I thought. I have a proposal for you, then. One that'll make us both legends. You ever heard of Wavering Fire? Wavering Fire? You mean the third hottest flame on Eo? Bingo. They say that everything forged by wave and fire is 50 times as strong as its conventional counterpart. Well, maybe not 50 exactly, but a lot. Yeah, you get the idea. But here's the thing. I actually got my hands on a wave room. And you know what? Its flame melted my whole damn forge. A mature wave and fire is too hot to handle. But a hatchling? That'd be more... manageable. You get me a wave and egg. I'll craft you wavering fire weapons, armor, the works. You'll be legendary. What do you say? You have a deal. Aye. Good on you. Come back when you have the egg. Where am I supposed to get a wavering egg? Well, I heard talk of a wavering breeding ground out in the scorching desert. You could look there. Hold on. Waverns are extremely hostile, especially when breeding. You want us to risk our lives for this? I mean, I did ask if you're the surviving type. I'll be going. Hey, be seeing you. We should move. Hmm. Surfacer! Surfacer! Over here! You wanted to speak to me? I, my friend, I did. You're an outsider, huh? What a refreshing sight. The guards aren't letting many of you in these days. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Gorag Rockrim, representative of the Historical Society. If you're feeling particularly philanthropic, 
I have a proposition for you. I'm listening. The Society has a keen interest in acquiring old moon silver artifacts. Our ancestors spread all across Fiara, leaving pieces of history behind. We'd like to bring those pieces home. For every artifact you bring me, I will compensate you accordingly. How's that sound? Is this somehow connected to this giant statue High Hierophant Arrakis is building? What? Because these artifacts are made of moon silver? Good gracious, no. I'd rather cut off my own beard than let him melt these artifacts for his bloody statue. But that probably isn't a conversation we should be having here. Now- I've already found some moon silver artifacts. Here you go. Ah, wonderful! Thank you so much, Surfacer. Compensation, as agreed. And in addition, I'd like you to have this. The Society is most grateful for your patronage. Let me know if you find anything else on your travels. Out of the way. Sir, sir! Could I have a minute of your time? What do you need? You look like a worldly person. A bold adventurer, even. Not many of those around here these days. Anyway, I've decided to leave this grim place and seek my luck on the road. So I was thinking, could you maybe test my adventure and knowledge and see if I'm up to the challenge? I'm a soldier, not an adventurer. I wouldn't even know where to start. But you've traveled the world. You've seen what's out there. Just see if I could theoretically manage situations you get yourself in while traveling. Why are you so eager to risk your life like this? I promise you life on the road isn't nearly as glamorous as the folk tales make it out to be. However it is, it's better than staying in Windholm. I don't know if you've noticed, but this city isn't currently a friendly place for... Uh, for dwarves like me. She's right. It looks like I have little choice in the matter. Just remember, passing my test does not guarantee your survival. Even with all the knowledge in the world, what you're choosing is a very dangerous life. The road is treacherous, and you need to always keep that in mind. Trust no one but yourself. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Let me think. All right. A group of bandits surrounds you. What do you do? I talk to them. Ascertain what they're after. If it's greed, maybe I can convince them that I'm more valuable to them alive. If it's desperation, I talk to them. No one just chooses this line of work, and most people have reservations about it. And if all else fails, I kick them in the royal jewels and run, of course. Wow. What? I was expecting you to say something along the lines of, I'll teach them a lesson, no one messes with me. But I have to say, your answer was surprisingly reasonable. Not what I would expect from someone so young. I told you, I'm not trying to be the new Tahar. I know what I'm getting into. Very well. What do you expect from an adventurer's life? I'm not stupid. I know I'm not going to be helping dashing princes or finding ancient treasures. I just want to change people's lives for the better. Doesn't really matter if it's dealing with some bandits, killing a pack of rabid wolves, or cleaning horse manure for a crippled farmer. I just want to help. I won't lie, that's a very impressive answer. Thank you. You're right. We need more compassion, especially these days. Seeing people like you gives me hope for the future. Thank you, General. I have to go now. Oh, already? So what do you think? Am I ready? No one is ready for the life you're choosing. I recommend settling down somewhere quiet, away from this mess. What? Having said that, you seem to be committed to helping people, and the people of EO need help. Just ask yourself, Am I ready to risk my life for people that may not even appreciate my efforts? If the answer is yes, then you have my blessing. It's not impulsive, I promise. I know what I'm risking. Then all there is left for me to do is wish you luck. Thank you for being so kind, General. Good luck to you, too. Hmm. What's this? Hi, what you looking for? again. That way? Interesting.
Sounds like a plan. Ah, Steve, bloody Kiwi. Those beardless stonemakers should have set their beards on fire. Ah. What are you looking at? Sorry, I couldn't help but notice how upset you are. Do you mind if I asked you what's wrong? What's wrong? It's bloody thievery is what it is. Them beardless dregs have no right to my stuff. Do you know how long it's been in my family? A long time. Whoa, slow down. Who stole from you and what did they steal? Me have balls. My hammer. Ever since that beardless gasper took over Windhome. His stone liquors have been rounding up all the moon silver for that damn statue, including my family hammer. How's a smith supposed to work without his hammer? Sorry to hear that. I'll let you know if I find a moon silver hammer. Dad, waste your time. It's long gone by now. Probably meant to die for that damn statue. If those stone liquors ever come back, I'm setting their beards on fire. Me have blessed my beard. Excuse me, you there. I might I have a word? Can I help you? Aye, that you can. My name's Herrick Grainblast. You look like a surfacer who gets around. And judging by the company you keep, have you perhaps been to the city of the Dark Elves? Uh, Cal Calabrook? We don't all live in Calabrook, you know. Oh, my apologies, Dark One. I didn't mean for my eagerness to offend. Why do you care if we've been to Calabrook? Well, you see, my son, Idar, and his friend set out for the city nearly two moons ago. He was supposed to write me once he got there, but the letter never came. Dust and stones, I told him not to go. The surface is no place for a boy armed only with idealistic fantasies. Would you mind asking around for him if you find yourself there? I'll see what I can do. If you can find anything out, that would set my mind at ease. Lead on, then. This way. Malik. Rara. And I assume this is the fabled General Erev. Aye. Huh. Remind me, why do we trust him? Stones, we talked about this, didn't we? Aye. Before I learned that we're dealing with a war criminal here. Yes, General, I know about that mysterious night when you lost your entire division. How convenient that you remember nothing. Believe me or not, I honestly don't remember. If it were up to me, I send you right back across the sea of dreams. Sadly, this is my sister's idea and her responsibility. Malik, this is embarrassing. These people aren't here because they want to be your drinking buddies. They're here because we need them and they need us. Now, please tell me you did more than just brood over the General's past when I was gone. Like, work out the plan, as you said you would. I'm guessing my sister has already briefed you on our objective. Break into the Windholm treasuries and steal money and weapons to build up your movement. Well said. Now, since trying to enter the castle through the main gates is akin to suicide, our men spent the past weeks looking for a side entrance, and they found it. Here. A map? Of the Windholm Catacombs Eye. Just follow the marked path and it should take you right below the castle undercroft, where you'll find a buried tunnel. Clear the rubble, and presto. You're in. Questions? A buried tunnel leading right into the Undercroft? That sounds almost too good to be true. Yeah, I thought the same. But apparently the architects were planning to extend the castle further down into the mountain years ago, but stopped. That tunnel is a leftover. And if we succeed, you'll use the money to build up your troops and take care of Arrakis. Right? 
Oh yes, we will. Also, my men and I will help you on your own mission while Malik prepares the coup. Just as we agreed. Fair enough. And is there anything specific we should look for once we're inside? Money, gold, moon silver weapons. Don't bother with the rest. And maybe you'll be able to dig up some dirt on Arrakis. Scandal or something might help us to slow Arrakis's march to power. All right, we'll see what we can do. Just don't fuck up. Oh, and one more thing. My man saw an odd dwarf going in and out of the tunnels. We don't think he has anything to do with Arrakis. We haven't seen him in a moon, but maybe keep an eye out. An odd dwarf? Aye, a mud dweller by the looks of it. I'm guessing he lives down there. Who knows, maybe someone else who's like Arrakis's granite idiots destroyed. Understood. We'll speak later. Quite the character, your brother. I know. Sorry for him going off on you. It's just... He's complicated. Huh. I honestly hope Iskram comes back from that Shaper site as soon as possible. He hasn't been to Windholm for decades, but he still considers it home. The Dwarven Circle Mage, right? Aye. You mentioned that before. He lost one of his relatives during the first Blackstone Rebellion, right? Something like that, yeah. As though descending down the different layers of Earth, every twist and turn of the tower's spiral staircase reveals a new facet of the Dwarven city. First, the granite manors of the nobility, then the bustling cramped maze that is the craftsman district, finally the shattered houses of the mud dwellers. By the time you reach the catacombs entrance, you've left the populated parts of Windholm well behind you. This is it, says Rera and nods towards an ornamented archway. Are you ready? All right, these are the catacombs. Now we just need to find the entrance to the abandoned part. Do you think we'll need to deal with the undead? I don't think they'll be undead, but Malik said there's been a spider infestation down here. So stay on your guard. So what's the plan? You can do this, Holdark. First step is the hardest. Damn it. There's someone down here. Hold on, General. Look at his clothes. He's not a guard. You got it. Really? Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> oh, a surfacer. Dust and stones. I thought you were one of those granite sons. Wait, what are you doing down here? I could ask you the same thing. Me? It's a free city. I can go where I like. You, on the other hand, this is no place for a stroll. You, uh, you don't happen to be going further in, do you? None of your business. Right, right, because if you were, you'd be interested in my proposal. What kind of proposal? Ha <laughs> ha, I knew you'd be curious. Here's the deal. My family has a fortune stashed away in a tomb down here, and I need the money, badly. But I'd be eaten alive before I could get to the tomb. So let me guess, you want us to help you. What would I get in return? I only need an heirloom that belonged to my grandmother. You can keep whatever else you find. What do you say? You have a deal. Splendid! The name's Huldak Stonebrow, by the way. Here's the key to the tomb. I'll wait for you back at my place on the eastern side of the city. Knee half, give you luck. What do we have here? Fresh candles. Hmm. Somebody is tending to that grave. With all that vermin around? Whoever it is, he or she has guts. Maybe it has something to do with the strange dwarf Malik was talking about. The one who goes in and out of these tunnels. Possible. Either way, he's not here. Let's focus on the mission for now. Hmm. What's this?
This is it. Over here. What do we have here? At once. Sounds like a plan. What's that? Looks like a cobweb. Let's take a look. Hmm. Judging by the size, this belongs to a Blight Widow. No wonder nobody knows about these tunnels anymore. Blight Widow? Sounds lovely. Round about the size of a small barn, with poison potent enough to kill a troll. Nothing you'd want to spend a romantic evening with. Hmm. How do we get through the web? Brute force? Let's try. Move in. Here we are. The abandoned crypts. Stay alert. They are fools. They must be gone. What is it? That brooch Holdorp wanted. Wait. This says this tomb belongs to the Axshale family. Didn't he say his last name was Stonebro? Yeah, he did. Looks like our new friend has a lot of explaining to do. Sure. Let's be quick! Take them out! That's a big web. Cut it down. Nowhere to run now. You're next! No one lives forever. 
What do you need? Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Blazes. What is that thing? Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not here to give us hugs and kisses. Prepare for a fight. Move in. balls. Now we know why they suspended their work on the tunnels. We... Wait, do you see that? In the spider's head. Yeah. Looks almost like some kind of jewel. Let me take a look. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Could that... What? Never mind. See that tunnel over there? According to our map, it should lead right into the Undercroft. It's buried. Aye. I hope you brought a shovel. Whew, that should do the trick. Now, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope the map is right. What do you need? Keep it up. as quiet as you climb up the tunnel. The way her jaw flexes and her lips press into a white line speak a different language. You're not fooling yourself. Much depends on the success of this heist. No rebellion has been won without money and weapons. Well, knock me down with a feather. It worked. And you're sure this is the Granite Castle? Dead sure. What now? We need to find the keys to the treasury in the weapons chamber. Let's try the guard quarters first. You know the way, right? Stones! Guards! Sounds like a plan. What's the... Stones. So much for resolving this peacefully. Indeed. This place is crawling with guards. Well, what's that saying? When shit's raining down, don't stay and get soaked. Is that really a saying? No, but you get the idea. See what they have on them and then let's hurry. Look at that. Rara? 
Does this look like what we're after? Let me see. Aye, oh, that's it. The key to the weaponry. Seems we got lucky. Let's find ourselves some nice moon silver blades, shall we? You got it. saying Try to keep up. What do we have here? It must be done. Got it. Hmm. What's this? Here we go. 
how does the saying go? Hang them with their own rope. Let's grab what we can. Hmm. Interesting. What do we have here? Wow, that's exquisite. Good. That's enough. We still got a treasury to empty, though. Let's get to it. This way. Out of the way. we need rara hmm no it doesn't fit the description let's keep searching stay close hmm what's this a sealed letter Looks official. Hmm. That's Arrakis's seal. Maybe the guy this chest belongs to is a courier. Come on, read it. Hmm. It's a kind of love letter. Addressed to Elavia. Elavia? That's an elven name. So, Arrakis is mingling with a surfacer. That's ironic. Ironic? No, General. That's pure gold. We'll make sure everybody learns about this. That should slow his advancement at least a little. Good work. Over here. Sounds like a plan. the one to the treasury. Do you see the engraving? Nihaf's crown. Then let's do what we came here for. <sighs> That's what I call a treasure. And yet, according to Arrakis, Windholm is on the brink of ruin. Good old bit of fear-mongering. Classic trick. We have here. All right. I think that's as much as we can carry. Come on, let's get back to the tunnel. Nihaus, hammer! Intruders! Call the overseer!
So, what's the plan? All right, here goes nothing. You're great. We have balls. Reinforcements. This is gonna get cramped. We need to get back to the catacombs. By the minute, faster. Uh huh. Keep it up. Sure. We can't beat them all. Let's run! As though descending down the different layers of Earth, every twist and turn of the tower's spiral staircase reveals a new facet of the Dwarven City. First, the granite manners of the nobility, then the bustling cramped maze that is... Here we are. Think we shook them off? Either that or they're up to something. We should prepare for both scenarios. Let's get back to the entrance and keep our weapons ready. This way. You got it. Consider it done. Give the word. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What's this? Of course. This is it. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Try to keep up. It must be done. No way to run now. Sure. That way? Bloody waste of time. Spiders have probably eaten them already. An order's an order. Damn it. Hear that? Guards. Out of the way. Attack! Yes? What do we have here?
there. That's the only way. Looks pretty grim down there. I doubt we have a choice. Do we, Rera? No. Let's slice it. Wait. Do you... Do you feel that? Feel what? That gem we collected from the Spider Queen. I think it's reacting to the web. Oh, stones! I... Of course! I know who that spider was. Who it was? A spider, right? More than that. We call her Varekka the Widow. There's a dwarven fairy tale about an earth shaper who went mad after the death of her husband and believed he had been reincarnated as a spider. She spent every hour in the tunnels and tried to become more and more like them. And... well... So you think that spider we fought was her? I don't know, but it'd fit. Either way, the good thing is, if that was Varekka, it means that the gem should allow us to control the spiders down here. Quick, General, put it on. Oh, that feels... odd. Aye, because part of the spider's consciousness has melded with your mind. See if you can manipulate the web somehow. Go on. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. It worked. Good. Now let's get down there before the granite idiots catch up. Yes? I'll be damned. They aren't attacking us. Told you. One last thing to worry about. I think that way leads back into the main cavern. We got lucky, but... Hmm. Wait. What? With the gem, the spiders would probably help us if we get attacked. We could use this chance to do more damage to Arrakis's troops. All we have to do is stay here and wait for them to show up. All right, let's wait for them to show up. There he is, as I- General Arif, just how did I know you were behind this? How come you're not running like you gravel eaters normally do? Because those gravel eaters are tired of running. You'll pay for your crimes, and Arrakis will follow right after you. <laughs> oh, the little flower has a temper. Well, I'd ask you to surrender, but that wound from Draycott still hurts like a bitch. So I'll just say you refuse to cooperate. Not that anyone would care. Kill the Gravelators, men! I'm with you. So, what's the plan? Then let's get out of here before they notice he's not coming back. I'll catch up.
The dwarves once maintained an underground empire that spanned from Wulfgar to Lar, its massive cities connected by hundreds of miles of carefully hewn tunnels. At its heart was Windhold. Rara, what the hell happened? There were guards all over the city. It's been taken care of, including Commander Rugram, the leader of the Granite Guard. Tell your men to get a cart. We've got plenty of loot. Huh. Not bad, little sister. Not bad. You there, get a cart. Tell me what happened. Everything. Hmm. You're sure you didn't leave any witnesses? Well, we didn't single-handedly take on the entire bastion, but those who saw us are dealt with. Good. Well, General, I don't know what to say. Thank you, I guess. My sister was right. It was a good idea to have a seasoned soldier on that mission. Just make sure you put this money to good use. Arrakis needs to disappear. No need to remind me. I'll reach out to my contacts tonight so they can start hiring muscle. Until we've put together a solid army, we'll station our men in Greykeep. With the Queen's permission. When the time comes, we'll strike them with our full power. Until then, my men will help you out as promised. There are a lot of mercenary groups out there. Who are you planning to hire? Dwarves, mostly. For our coup, we need to be inconspicuous. And that's rather difficult if you're counting on a tribe of orcs to see it through. I know of a group of ex-Bastion soldiers who left Windhelm shortly after King Rorik's death. They might be just what we need. What will you do in the meantime, Malik? Lay the groundwork. Gather information. Bribe the right people. And make sure nobody catches wind of our little plan before we set it into motion. Just be ready when the time comes. We will. Perfect. Then let's head back to Greykeep and file a report. Good plan. What do you want? Interesting. What do we have here? Welcome back. Did you find any moon silver artifacts? Here's what I found. Ah, wonderful. Thank you. Let me know if you find anything else on your travels. Ah, my favorite surfacer. I see you made it out all right. Save it. Do you want to explain why someone named Holdark Stonebrow asked me to get his grandmother's heirloom from a tomb belonging to the Axhell family? Damn it. Fine. Let me explain. You're right. It belongs to Basic Axhell, a dwarf I once considered my best friend. But a best friend doesn't assume you betrayed him after one little mistake. He never even heard me out. Ever since then, he and his new... Granite buddies won't stop harassing me. They've plundered my home, beat me in the streets, so no, I don't have any remorse for that stone liquor. He always talked about his grandmother's heirloom and how he admired it as a child. If he wants betrayal, then by me have. I'll give him betrayal. Now hand it over so I can leave this place behind. Here's the heirloom then. Do whatever you want with it. Glad you understand, Surfacer. Thank you. Well, I better get going. Won't be long before Boz realizes what I've done. 
Hope our paths cross again someday. Just give the word. Sure. You again? What brings you back this day? Is this your hammer? How in the... Dust and stone, that's it! Oh, I'm never letting you out of my sight again! Well, now that I have my hammer back, I can get back to work. Take a look at my stuff if you like. Best in Windhome, and I'll burn the beard of anyone who says otherwise. I'd like to see your stuff. Break anything, you pay double. War after war has scarred Fiara, altering the tides of power across much of the continent. In Nortender, a fragile hope for peace drives the efforts to rebuild a ravaged kingdom. A new beginning dawns for the Morhir as their new settlement finally takes shape. As you make your way towards Greykeep, the Wolf Guard is in high spirits. Not only was the mission a full success, you were relieved to find the Blackstone Rebels getting along well with the men and women of the Wolf Guard. Allies, you think with a smile as your cohort of humans and dwarves crosses the city gates, riding past baffled guards. You can use them. Time to file a report. I should request an audience with the Queen. And you are certain your brother and your men can handle Arrakis when the time comes? We will probably need your help, but yes. Until then, my men will be at your full disposal to deal with those other threats. Don't expect a dwarven elite army yet, but... Well, we can handle our own. Very well. One more thing before we conclude this conversation. Hi, Hierophant Arrakis. What is your opinion of him, General? Just another hate monger. We'll deal with him. Good. Be that as it may, there is still work to be done before we can restore the mosaic. Let me know once you've looked into all the trails. Stay close. General, is there anything I can help you with? So long. Tiara's light, General. Over here. War after war has scarred Fiara altering the tides of power across much of the continent. In Nortender, a fragile hope for peace drives the efforts to rebuild a ravaged kingdom. A new beginning dawns for the Morhir, rise and fall at the whims of the wind, revealing and burying the bones of many a lost adventurer. For a lucky few who wander the sands, salvation appears on the horizon, a cluster of trees to shelter from the heat, and a small pool to quench cracked lips. But an oasis attracts more than just desperate travelers seeking a safe haven. We made it. According to the map, this area is a wavering breeding ground. Stones, is that why it's so hot? Come on, we've got to keep moving. 
I'm here. Of course. Let me quick. By the way, Iria, I remember it now. That terrible dwarf joke the Imperian sailor told me. Let's hear it. What do you call a dwarven fairy tale? A short story. <laughs> this conversation never happened. Move in. What do you need? Yes. To the grave. Hmm. Interesting. Sure. Dwarves? What are they doing out here? Probably following their mandate to collect all the moon silver on Eo. No dwarf would be out here otherwise. True. Let's go say hello. Here. Huh. This looks like one of those reavers. Look at that wound. Only a moon silver axe could do that. Windholmers. Well, keep your eyes open. Maybe the stolen weapon is still around. You know the way, right? here. Nothing. Hmm. No key here. Ugh. That smell. But still no key. Would you look at that? Found it. Now let's see what's in that chest. There we go. That's some quality craftsmanship. Good thing the Reavers can't do any more harm with it. This way. 
We can take them. Yes. Yes. Sounds like a plan. Really? Tell me, Iria. Does the circle work? Are people less afraid of mages now that they're representatives? Hmm. I guess, yeah. It didn't solve every problem, but before the circle, people thought mages were the source of all evil. Now they know we're just people. There are evil mages, there are good mages, and most are in between. This is it. We should move. That's a mirage, isn't it? Look out! All right, here goes nothing. What do you want? Let's do this. Just 
escape the murder. I could use some healing. Come with me. Is that the best you can do? I could use some healing. I need help over here. Fair enough. Let's do this. What do you need? Make it good. So it must be. Yet. Get ready. <laughs> Try to keep up. To the grave. Sure. I'm here. Keep it up. Hmm. Interesting. That way? What do we have here? Whoa, don't drop us. I got it. War after war has scarred Fiara. The dwarves once maintained an underground empire that spanned from Wolfgar to Lar. Its massive cities connected by hundreds of miles of carefully hewn tunnels. At its heart was Windholm. Here's the wife and egg. That's it? Huh. Thought it'd be a lot bigger. No matter. As soon as this egg hatches, I can get to work. Here, I owe you something. Why don't you come back later with one of these so I can craft you some fine armor? Thanks. Will do.